Hello everyone, I just received a comment or a request from one subscriber requesting me to design a UI from a prototype. So this is the prototype in front of you and what I have come up is this result. So here is the live result of the request that I made. It's like this. And I will be showing you step by step how you can achieve this. In this video lesson, I will be using Stack Blitz with my own starter project. I have the autocomplete feature for Ionic Snippet that you can make use of it. To start, what you need is to have the link, only the link, which is there in my video description. Before that, make sure you subscribe to my channel and let's start coding. In the very start, I have opened the image in a Photoshop and I have opened the color picker and I scanned the background color and I copied the color code. Also for the gradient color, I have select from the darkest from here till the lighter color. So I got the two variation of the gradient color. After getting all these details, I have collected all the information on a notepad so it will be easier to follow up in the tutorial. So here I have the blue color with this code, the gradient color, the darkest and the lighter one, and the background color. And all images that I have used, the avatar, Dropbox image, Google Drive image, and the files and the list of icons that I have used apps notifications and so on I will go to Ionic documentation website to generate a theme color from the blue one I will copy it I will go to ionicframework.com to the documentation theming colors I will go down little bit till I see the color generator here is the new color creator. I will write the name for the new color. I will name it maybe custom and I will paste the color that I want to create. I will paste it and I will copy the source code. The source code I will paste it in variables.scsls inside themes folder. I will paste it and I will save. One more change I want to do here is for the light color, I want the ion color light to be fully white. So FFF, FFF and save. This is all changes in the variables.scss file. We will go to homepage.html file. I will remove the ion title and I will remove the full screen from ion content. In the ion toolbar, I will add the ion buttons for the menu icon. So it will be like this. I will be adding another button with the slot end to be here and I will add a class to it. I will name it bordered. So I have added and I have assigned a class named bordered. I will remove the border from the header, which is right here by adding a class named ion no border now the border is gone in the ion header i will add ion items and i will assign the lines to be none inside the ion item i will add the ion avatar and a label with the hello and the name of the user the result will be like this and this is all what we need in the header section in homepage.scss, I will target the ion header and I will be customizing ion toolbar and the ion item. For both of them, I want the background to be with the silver color and I want the padding to be zero top and bottom and 10 pixel in the left and right. I will save it and it will be like this here if you can notice there is a small white color in the iron item 
and to fix this is to add the same background but without the custom property only the SSS normal style so I will save it I will notice that the white background is now silver this is the common style for both ion toolbar and ion item now I will target the ion toolbar only and in ion toolbar I have the bordered button here so I will target bordered class in this class I will change the border radius I will make it as 10 pixel I will add a box shadow with 5 pixel 5 pixel 10 pixel silver background comma minus 5 pixel minus 5 pixel 10 pixel white background I will save it the result will be like this now I will target the ion item and in ion item I have the h3 b tag and ion avatar for h3 I will assign the font weight to be 700 so it's bold and the font size to be 14 pixel for the p tag I will assign the font weight to be 500 and the font size to be 14 pixel and for the ion avatar I will customize the border radius to be 14 pixel the result will be like this I think now we can move to the ion content and before that I will add the ion content here I will assign the background to be the linear gradient color with a 90 degree and in the first color I will assign the darkest blue from 0% to 35% and from 35% to 100% I want the lighter blue if I save it it will be like this I will go back to homepage.html in the ion content and I will add a new dev with the class name it slides also in this class I will add ion margin bottom style inside this dev I will add ion slides I will remove all the properties here and I will keep only ion slide for ion slide I want the options to take it from the TypeScript so I will write the name of the object that is going to take it from homepage.ts so I will assign it here and I will make it equal empty object now in this ion slide I will add ion card and inside ion card I want ion card header and I want ion card content inside ion card content I will copy the ion card title and subtitle the card will be like this I will add a class to ion card content for the text alignment to be in the left so ion text left also in the ion card content I want to add the progress bar so I will add it like this so ion progress bar the value I want it 50% and the color to be the custom color that we have added in the themes variable it will be like this so for the ion card subtitle I want to show how many GB is left so maybe 2 GB from total of 50 GB or let's say 10 I will save it but I want the alignment to come to the right so I will add a class for the text alignment to go to the right so it will be like this here between the title and subtitle I want some job between them so I will add a class for the ion card title to add a margin in the bottom so there is a job between title and subtitle we can go to homepage.scss and target the ion card make the width to be 100% so now I can notice the card with the full width in the ion card header I will add a new dev and I will 
assign a class called main for this div. Inside this div, I will add image to represent the Dropbox logo. And in the bottom of this div, I will add another image for the files. It will be like this. We will go to the homepage.scss and I will be customizing the slide class. And first of all, I will add a background with the silver color. Then I will be adding a padding for the top. I want it for pixel for right and left. I want it 10 pixel for bottom. I want it 20 pixel. I will add border radius so it will be like this silver color with the border radius in the bottom now in the iron card i will remove the box shadow and i will change the border radius to be 14 pixel i will add padding 14 pixel and i will change the background to be white with opacity of 18 percentage i will save it and it will be like this inside iron card i have the image tag i will assign the width to be 13 pixel this image actually inside the main class so i will make it like this so now the dropbox logo became with the width of 13 pixel for the main class I will add width and height and I will make it equal 60 pixel. I will assign border radius to be 15 pixel and the background color to be white. Also a box shadow to be with this property and I will save. Now to make the logo in the middle of this dev, I have to make the class with the display flex. So I will add display flex, aligning the item to be center and justifying the content in the center. If I save it, I will notice that the logo now in the middle of the center. Also, I have this image right here and in this one, I have a class, I name it files. So in this class, I will assign padding top to be 14 pixel. Nothing reflected because it's not inside the main class. So I will shift it down here. I'll save it. And now there is a job between this div and the image of the files. Now I can duplicate the card or the ion slide. So I will select from here to here. I will copy and I will paste it down. I will change the image logo to be Google Drive. So I will paste it here and I will change the title, write Google Drive. And in the top here, I will write Dropbox. I will change the percentage here maybe i'll put um 14 percentage and the color i want it to be yellow so i will choose warning if i save it it will be like this now for the slides options i will go to homepage.ts and i will add slides per view i want it slide and a half i will save it and it will be like this we have done with the section now we will work in the last section here i will go back to homepage.html and i will add a new div i will name the class to be container in this div i will add a h2 for the last file title then i will add ion items without lines so i will specify the lines to be none inside this ion item i will add ion grid and i want three columns and the size to be for the first one three second one seven then two in the ion row i want to align the item in the center in the first column i want a button with the icon only i don't want on click i want the name of the icon to be document i want the button with the light color and the fill i want it clear 
if I save it you will not see anything because the iron item style is now similar than the one which is in the top so what I will do I will go to homepage.scss and fix this so in iron content I will target the container class and here in the container class let me make the padding to be 6 pixel top and down and 20 pixel left and right and I want the color of the text to be white now I will target the ion item I want the background to be equal RGBA white and the opacity of one person so it will be like this so now we can see what is there inside the ion item. I will go back to homepage.html to complete the other column. For the second columns here I want the title and subtitle. So I will add an ion label with h4 and h6 and I will save. For the last column I want it similar than the first column so I will copy the iron button here I will paste it and I will change the icon to be this one if I save it it will be like this I think now I can duplicate the iron item I will change the icon to be film and the title maybe here mp4 and to be from Dropbox path the result will be like this now we are going to customize it from scss i will assign the padding to be equal zero in the iron items and i want margin to be 14 pixel up and down and zero pixel right and left i want border radius to be 14 pixel and color to be white i want to assign the font weight to be 600 the result will be like this in the iron item i have the iron label and inside iron label i have h4 and h6 for the iron label i want some jab so i will add padding now i will target the h4 i want the font weight to be 600 and the font size to be 16 pixel and for the h6 i want the color to be white but with less opacity it will be like this i think now we are finalizing the project so i will add a padding button for this title right here so this one is a h2 so i will add padding button maybe 8 pixel I will save it and now there is a job with the 8 pixel so this is the project that we have made we have done with the header icons buttons avatar labels slides and inside the slides we have the cards inside the cards we have the custom images with the representative logos we have the file and the title for the provider storage provider and the storage for each then we have customized the border here for this nice effect we have changed the background of the ion content to be the gradient color we have assigned a title and the files in the storage so if you like this video, press the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.